there's a stranger here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dude, Be Beauty and the Beast quote. Dude, the sun's going to get stupid. I guess I could have... Dude, I'm going to start doing, like, quotes from, like, my kids' movies. Like, something's up with Jack. Something's up with Jack. Okay. You know what that's from? Come on. Yeah, anyone? Anyone? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Something's up with Jack. Something's up with Jack. Okay. Oh, dude, I'm always quoting crap from my daughter's movies. She loves it, though, because, like, I'm pretty good. Like, I can, I can get pretty darn dedicated to like I'll do quotes and I'll do the voices pretty good and she just she gets a kick out of it it's great and I'll just like randomly say it like we'll just be like eating dinner and I'll be like 25 or 10,000 years can really put a creak in the neck or whatever you know like from Aladdin or just whatever I don't even know but just or something that Scar says or something. She just loves it. She kind of looks at me. She's good, dude. She knows. Anyway, I don't know. Well, first off, freaking feel, I'm feeling kind of spry. All right? So, Grandma, are you spry? I'm spry. If I was a grandma, I'd be spry. Well, I don't know if I'd be spry if I was a grandma. Well, there's grandmas that are spry. Dude, I work with this, this 74-year-old guy. He's the most freaking spry 74-year-old guy that you'll meet do the stuff he says dude he's like on top he's witty he's funny and he flicks it man he gives it he gives it good you got to be on your game with him <laughs> but he's spry okay anyway all right all right getting off topic 10 131 a box and pause baby Woo! i don't know day 131 everyone i know everyone's gonna be tuning in for day 131 it's it's you know everyone's waiting like god i can't wait to get to 131 days like Anyway, okay, I don't know. Oh, dude, this video is going to be a trip. Whatever. I'm drinking my last cold sparkling water, but I just got back from the store. And I got I got the ones with caffeine in it again. I ended up drinking that eight-pack. I'm, like, drinking caffeine again. Not a ton, but just, they're good. They just got 50 milligrams. I got some more, and I got some regular ones, like some talking rain. It was funny, though, when I was there. Because I'm feeling kind of spry, you know, so when I got in, like, I know here I'm, I'm, dude, I'm such a loser, dude. I'm 30 years old, I'm by myself, and I was like, with the cart, you know, like, when I, right when I got in the store, just like, I don't know, I just had to do it. But I used to always do that when I was a kid. Always. Well, <laughs> dude, no, just promise, dude, this promise, it reminded me of this. I remember when I was like, I was probably like 11, and we had a whole freaking thing of, of groceries, dude. We're at like Winco, which, well... A lot of you guys probably don't know what Winco is unless you live in. In fact, what? Yeah, Winco acronym: Washington, Idaho, Nevada, California, Oregon. So if you live in those places, you have a Winco, or you know, you should. You should. It's so busy though. I don't even like going there anymore. I I don't even like. I just hate. I'll pay more money. Well, I don't have money to spend though. But if I did. No, I still, that's the thing, is I just live really poor. I just, I'm like, whatever, I'll know. But anyway, I had, we had a whole, I was a kid, dude, we had, a, I was like 11 or so, had a whole freaking thing of groceries, and I was doing that, and it tipped over, dude, it was so embarrassing. Well, no joke, okay, so I tipped this whole thing over. We were there like the next month or two months later or something, and I was messing around doing the same thing. I freaking did it again, dude, with a bunch of groceries. And I was like, you know, of course my mom was like, you're done. You can't, you can't push the cart anymore. <laughs> Got my cart license revoked. Okay, anyway, here we go. That was, I, dude, I don't know where this crap come from, comes from. It comes from the soul. From the, from the, yeah, what, from what a man has in his innermost man in his heart, that's what comes out. That's what he speaks. That's what comes out of the mouth. That's what that's what the Bible says. So better believe that. So so all this random quotes, I guess that's what's in my heart. So ugh. Okay, here we go. Dude, I ran, dude, I freaking ran three miles today. Much. I know I always say that. I know I'm almost like, I ran three miles today, and I ran this, and I, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I just do it. I just say it. Because it's a big, big deal, you guys. It's such a big deal. I'm just telling you, dude, running, you know, exercising and eating right, dude, is seriously, if you're not doing it, you got to do it. You got to do it. It's, it's serious. Like, I'm seriously, I'm going to dress up as a carrot or something. Rob Schneider is a carrot. <laughs> That's so great. That's so funny. When, oh, man. He thinks life is hard now. Ooh. 
Come to find out, or I don't even know, when he's a carrot, it gets harder. Okay, anyway, but Rob Schneider is a carrot. Uh, no, but seriously, like, like, dude, diet and, and exercise is seriously so big in this recovery. It's so big, you guys. It, I, I felt even better. I, I feel great today, dude, dude. Just feeling great today. Seriously, not 100%, dude. I'm not 100%, dude. I'm tired. You know, in fact, I was waiting, and dude, I was waiting in this god-awful line today. Seriously, seriously, just... It was just terrible. It was so slow. It was just terrible. And and I was getting icky feelings. Just for that little bit, though, I found the, the waiting in line, waiting and stuff in line, especially when there's stupid reasons why you're waiting in a line like that. I just, I I, I don't know, you guys. I got to work on that because, dude, it, it seriously makes me so mad. And I just get, like, I get, like, sweaty and, like, I get, like, that anxious feeling. But not, I just was like, I was, I don't know. I don't know. I hate it. I can't wait. Anyway, okay. I mean, I can wait in a line if it's, like, acceptable or, like, you know what, I don't know, It's or it's easier. I guess I still don't enjoy it, but you kind of get what I'm saying? Like, when it's for stupid reasons and someone doesn't understand how when you buy two Red Bulls, it's two for four dollars, and when you buy one, it's, like, two, whatever. Okay, anyway, sorry, I shouldn't. Anyway, but seriously, running and diet is huge. Sorry, dude, this video is just all over the place, isn't it? Because I'm just, like, ah. Uh, but anyway, dude, I got, I mean, good chicken tonight and some beans and Schlechter corn. I got Schlechter corn today because I went to that account and got, I don't know why I'm doing that, but like I got Schlechter corn. So I'm having Schlechter corn, beans and chicken and peppers and whatever. I was going to say something else, but we're just going to get way off topic. Okay. I don't have like anything written down other than I have actually, no, I, I, I shouldn't say that. That's a lie. I just don't have. I don't know. I I, ha, I I have stuff written down from last night because I was thinking about stuff. So I'm, we're just going to get right into that. Okay, here we go. I Because a couple nights ago, I was just praying and opened up my Bible and it was just, it was just crazy, dude. Like, it was just God speaking to me. Seriously, like, I got to have endurance. And, and, and endurance in obviously this recovery and we all do, you got to have endurance. You cannot let this exhaust you. You got to have endurance during this crap. And, and dude, just straight up, dude, you want it for the rest of your life. You want it for the rest of your life, right? Like we want this for the rest of our life. This isn't some, let's see how long we can go or, you know what I mean? Like, that's so stupid. Like, no, this is for the rest of our life. You got to have endurance. But I was thinking about my walk with my, with my walk, you know, with the Lord, like seriously, like, because I've, I've always, I've never had great endurance or that's always been my weakness or, or, or I have, I mean, we all have periods in our life where we kind of go down, you know, and, and I've gotten better. Um, I got better. Sorry. Okay. But, but seriously, I mean, I have gotten better by the grace of God, by, by God, you know, it's God's power, but but, uh, you know, that's something I've always been bad at. And I, and I was reading, you know, the other night and I just opened it up and it was just like, it, you know, you know how it is. It just like talk, talk, just spoke to me. Um, and this isn't even what I read. I don't even remember exactly, uh, what I read, but I read this last night as a re- and it was like a reminder. I was reading Hebrews last night and it reminded me. So here we go. Just, just, so I'm going to read this. This is what I read last night. Um, but, uh, oh no, 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 no. I'm an idiot. I need to go back further. No, this is, no, I do have what I read on here. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. No, but seriously, it was just a trip. It was a trip. Cause I was praying, you know, and it was just like, God just seriously, just, it was just like, boom. It was just that bombshell. Okay. And, and just listen to this. And it just really struck me cause I was feeling a little bit guilty again and I was feeling a little bit guilty again last night for what I did you guys I need it not I need to let it go I need to move on you know but uh, anyway but anyway therefore do not throw away your confidence which has a great reward do not throw away your confidence and uh, God had to tell me that like dude don't throw away your confidence okay for you need for you have need of endurance this is what I literally said and, and I promise I just open and it's not the way to read scripture dude it's just weird that this is actually happened to me the couple times in the last few in the, in these moments of just you know it is weird but anyway um for you have need of endurance so that when you have done the will of god you may receive what has been promised okay and uh 
dude, seriously though, reading that, like, dude, do not throw away your confidence, uh, which has a great reward, and and for you have need of endurance, like, dude, I absolutely need endurance. I, you know, I've said that, dude. I've I've talked about the the parable of the sower and the seed and the dream that God freaking gave me and scared the crap out of me and 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 really thinking about it, like that was so me. I was always. I'd always accept it with joy and be just like, oh, yeah, and then I would just, you know, something would happen or just whatever. It wasn't really, I don't know, it was never, whenever bad things happen, it wasn't, that's not what, it, that's not what got me away from the Lord ever. It, that, it was just like comfortableness, being too comfortable. Things are too easy and you get bored and like, I don't know. And then, you know, you know how it is. Yeah, you're, when you're using stuff, like it's just, I don't know, whatever. Okay. Anyway, but, uh, but yeah, I just, I, you know, I don't know. I just, we, cause we got to have endurance, dude. I got to have endurance and, you know, God really spoke to me, but just, you know, uh, we have to have endurance, not just in this process of getting clean, but in the whole grand picture, don't grow weary. We do, we cannot grow weary of doing good. Um, you know, the Bible says that as well. I know I've read that before. Um, sorry about that. You guys, sorry. That was a little, I don't know. I don't know. It's just kind of all over, but, uh, make sure that and then I read this and then I, yeah, then I read this last night and I just, then that's what I'm like. Okay. I got to put this on the video. Make sure that your character is free from the love of money, being content with what you have for he himself said, I will never desert you, nor will I ever forsake you. That was random. Cause I thought it was something else, but whatever. Uh, but no, no, it wasn't right. I saw that written down. I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. But, but I was thinking last night because, well, yeah, I need to talk about this first. I'm sorry. Being content. Seriously, we got to be content because I, I was thinking about, oh man, yeah, dude, I totally screwed up on everything, dude, on this video. I'm sorry. I'm looking at this. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking, why I'm reading that when I'm reading that. I'm sorry. This sucks. Oh man, I might... Uh, I'm not going to start it over. It's just, I'm just going to go. I, dang it. I should start this over. This sucks anyway. Okay. But, uh, I can't start it over. I can't start it over. Okay. I'm just got crap. I got to freaking skip over stuff now that I wanted to freaking read. Cause it just sucks. Anyway, okay, I, don't, I can't do this video. It's going to get terrible. Okay, anyway, okay, here we go. You know what? Screw it. I'm going back to what I was going to read originally about endurance. We're, we're going back to endurance, baby. Here we go. We're going to endure through, we're going to endure through this video right here. Therefore, since we have... Blah, 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 let us lay aside every obstacle and the sin that which so easily entangles us and let us run the race with endurance, okay? Let us run the race with endurance, okay? That is set before us. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, okay? Despising the sh shame, and he has sat at the right hand of the of, of the throne of God, okay? For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself, so that we will not grow weary and lose heart. So yes, dude, we got to look to Christ as that example of like, dude, he, dude, look at what he did. You know, seriously, look at what he did and what he endured. And, uh, you know, looking to that, that's going to help us endure in this life. And, and I was going to, okay, I am going to read this real quick. Consider it, okay, yeah. Consider it joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance, okay? And let endurance have its perfect result so that you may be perfect, complete, lacking in nothing, that James writes, okay? Right at the beginning of James. Um, so, yes, we got to endure. That's part of this, man. It's It's a... You know, th this life is testing. I, you know, when you mess up, you can't get too down on yourself. You got to just, you pick yourself up, dude. A righteous man freaking falls seven, you know, seven times, but rises up each time. You just got to somehow with the strength of God and his mercy and his love, dude, you got to freaking, you know, you got to have faith in God, have faith in what his promises are. And, uh, we got to endure. We got to endure, uh, this, this whole life, this whole life. And that's something I've struggled with anyway. I'm sorry. Such a crappy job. 
Okay, but I am going to go back because because I was thinking about this last night, okay? Dude, it's easy. I was thinking about this as I'm as I'm feeling better and better and better each day, okay? It's easier. I was thinking about this when you're an addict, okay? It's easier for some anyway to be content with less when you're using. You know what I mean? Because all you you just only you just only want to use. And, you know, it's kind of like, I mean, I mean, it's kind of fake though, because, you know, you know, we say like, you know, oh, we, we, you need less and, or, or, you know, I'm more content with less, but part of that is you, you know, you want to numb the fact that you don't have anything or, you know, your shortcomings or whatever, or whatever you, you get what I'm saying. So you're using, well then, so when you're using, you're using, you're using, uh, you know, and then you kind of get clean, you know, and you get clean, you get clear, you know, you stop numbing stuff and you, you know, you get clear headed and, and whatever you can kind of, you know, you, you, I don't know. You can kind of be like, Oh man, I don't know how to articulate this really. Or just, or I don't know. I just, I don't know what it's, I feel weird right now, but, um, you just kind of, I don't know. I've, I've no, just like, you're not happy or, or you cannot be content. You start real, you start feeling better and you're like, man, I, I wish I had more money or I wish I had, or you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Like I, I should, you know, I'm not happy with my, my career path or whatever. And that's fine. That's fine. If you got to make changes and stuff, but don't be envious or something. I, I just, I, I had to hone that. I guess I'm saying this because I had to hone that into myself or you, you kind of go, what I'm saying you start to realize like, you know, your mind's clear and stuff seriously. And, and you might hate what you've done with your, with your professional life or, or financial situation, but, but really like whatever, dude, whatever God has plans for us. You know, if we choose to do his will, dude, it's, it's going to be all fine. So I guess, I guess what I'm saying is, I don't know, just, I mean, yes, you know, you want to improve your life and stuff, but dude, there's always going to be people that have more money than you that are going to be better off, whatever in this life, whatever. Don't, you know, who gives a crap? I guess. I don't know. That sucked. I messed up on the whole video and I'm just like, nah, I don't know. But, uh, but, but just remember that like, dude, okay. Being content with what you have. Okay. For he himself said, I will never desert you nor forsake you. Okay. God's not going to desert us. He's not going to forsake us. Okay. We got, you know, let's be content with what we got, you know? Um, and, 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 and seriously, dude, like, like we just got to do God's will. God will provide. He always provides. Okay. Yeah. Good chance. It's not going to, you know, he's not going to bring us more money, but he's going to, he, he, he has the promise of peace. You guys, you know, God is not a God of confusion, but a God of peace. The Bible says, and his spirit brings peace and stuff like that. You can't put a price on that. Like that's what matters. You know, it's not about stuff and things in this life. You know, you know, seriously, we got, let's, let's be content. Like uh, like, like seriously, let's be, con- let's, let's be content with what God has given us. Like dude, a second chance, a third chance, a 77th chance, you know, if you're me. Um, but, but our dude, our families, um, the capacity to change, the capacity to love, the capacity to heal, dude, the, the capacity to be able to heal all the broken brokenness inside, you know, stuff that we've done to others, stuff that we've done to ourselves. the capacity to forgive, you know, I know there's people that, that hadn't been able to forgive and, and haven't been able to do that. And then they, then they give themselves to the Lord. And then they, all of a sudden they, they, they're able to forgive. They're able to forget. They're able to just, just change and love people and stuff. It's, it's so cool. It's so cool to see people's change lives through God, but just let's be content. Okay. Um, let's not be with, let's, let's be more concerned with the things on the inside of the heart on, on, on the inside of the cup, not the outside, you know, seriously. Um, you know, it's really easy, you know, when you, when you look at uh, what other people have, you know, and you're like, well, I want that or, or, you know what I mean? Or, you know, but dude, don't look like we got, we can't look at what other people have and compare you dude. Com- once you start comparing, dude, it's going, you're going down a bad path. You're going down an envious bad path. It's, there's nothing good there. You know, dude, they talk about that in psychology too. Like, dude, you just don't want to, don't, don't do that crap. You know, it's not going to, yeah, we, we need to be God care. Dude. uh, Okay. A billion years from now, you know, it's not the, yeah, it's not the worldly things. Uh, it's not the worldly things, but our own hearts that that's, that's, what's going to matter. That's what matters to God. And that's, what's going to matter a billion years from now, a billion years from now. It doesn't matter how big of a house you had, what kind of car you had, how much money you made, you know, that doesn't matter. God, you think God gives a crap about that? No, he cares about what you're doing with your money for sure. Like if you're just living selfishly and, 
you know what I mean? Like, but that's the heart again. That's, it's not the physical money. You know, you can't take it with you. We all, obviously that's apparent, but, uh, but you know what I mean? A billion years from now, it's how, dude, it's, 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 it's our hearts. It's how we treat people. It's, it's what we do. You know, what are we going to do with the life that God gave us? And I really think at the judgment, like that's going to be a big thing is like, God's going to be like, I gave you life. What did you do with this gift of life that I gave you? What did you do with it? Were you, com- were you selfish your whole existence? Did you only care about you? Did you only care about you and your family? And you didn't give a crap about that? Or, or, you know, you preach, you know, you preach this and, but you really do that. You talk about how we all need to do this and this and this and this and stop hunger and stuff, but you never gave a flipping dime to freaking any, any organization or anything or, or whatever, you know, you get what I'm saying, but just what are we going to do with our life, the gift of life that God has given us, I guess. I don't know. That just came out. Whatever. I don't know. I'm sorry, dude. This video was really weird, it felt like. And I and I was, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling just like, I don't know, I'm feeling fine. I'm just tired, dude. It's just, that's that's the hardest freaking thing with this whole flipping thing. You know, like I always say, woo, there's stuff going everywhere. But it, that's always the hardest thing for me, man. It's It's because you just don't catch up on sleep. And then, like, when you just get, like, you know, like, I got three hours a few nights ago or, like, five days ago or I don't even remember. And it's, like, man, you just want eight or nine or even ten hours of sleep and, like, you get six and, like, you can't go to sleep. And then you kind of wake up earlier. Like, I want more sleep. I do. And, it, the, you know, so that, that, to me, that's the rough part. Dude, that's the only thing that's really kind of bothering me right now is I, I do wish I could sleep more and, and just more consistently, but it's all good. Whatever it is, what it is. Day 131 days V for victory, baby. All right. I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm flipping starving. I got tomorrow off. Tomorrow's daddy day. Woo. All right. All right. I'll think of more Disney quotes and little kid movie quotes for you guys. Okay. Seriously though. God bless. Love you guys. Seriously. Stay clean. Stay in the fight. Endure. Endure. Let's endure this together, baby endure this together we feel each other's pain baby we do we freaking do we seriously do you know we're all going through this crap i mean or whoever i mean like dude totally god bless and salute